We have made it to episode 5 of our Water Crocs series. This is where I take a look at the front covers of the Northern Territory News. And honestly, the front pages are bonkers. Absolutely mad. Some of the stuff that gets put on these front pages. Anyway, episode 5, we are on to number 41 to 50. Let's get started, shall we? Oh my god, it starts with a banger, clearly. To perv and to protect. Police mistaken for strippers at top end hen's night. Hen Wendy Haddon with one of the officers who showed up at the Haunty 2 Hotel. I get it. So basically, this woman, it was her hen do, and she thought she had a stripper. That was dressed as a policeman. An easy mistake to make. Uh, but no, no, it was an actual policeman. It does look like he's seen the funny side of it, though, to be fair. Um, he's sort of got a smirk on his face while she's giggling, so I reckon this photo was just for photo purposes, if I'm honest. Uh, would you like to win this $29,990,000 boating package? No, not really. Uh, it's showtime in Alice. What? What's going on there? What is going on? Why is she dressed up as the devil? How strange. Uh, fire started by cigarette destroys three homes. There is another reason. Do not smoke. Next up. Bloody freezing. Coldest top end June day ever recorded. What is it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this has got to be a joke. Hang on. Bloody hell. Anyone would think we're in Melbourne. Rugged, rugged up. Darwin residents yesterday shivered through the coldest daytime high temperature ever recorded in June and the second equal coldest day on record in the city. At 1pm, the mercury plummeted to 22.7 degrees. Are you kidding me? Uh, it's about that now at the moment as, as we're coming into summer slowly but surely and my big forehead is starting to get a tan. And you are wrapped up in 22.7 degrees. Unseasonally strong winds made it even harder to keep warm. When southerners would probably look on in envy as they shivered through single digit. <laughs> this is ridiculous. 22.7. That's not even remotely cold. That is glorious weather. That is like perfect weather. Oh, man. <laughs> Demerit points, double or nothing license changes. Territory drivers will be able to pay, will be able to play a game of double or nothing if they have their license suspended under the new demerit scheme. Motorists will have their license suspended if they lose 12 demerit points over three years, but they will be able to choose to enter a 12 month good behavior period. Ah, oh, nice. Um, but if you've got your car taken away, then you're always going to be good, right? Unless you've still stolen a car's. Same system as us. I think we get 12 points. Uh, if you get 12 points, you lose your license. Anyway, next. Sexy granny drought. Sexy granny drought. Oh my word, what is going on? Mobs of sexy grannies in their 60s or so can save Darwin from the Groundhog Day exodus that steps the st st stip strips the city of brains and money every few decades. What? The Northern Territory is a world on its own, isn't it? It is a world to itself. What? <laughs> what more can I say? Oh, we're back to we're back to some crocodiles. Sickum Rex. He was a fearsome rogue territory croc who once ate everything from pet dogs to his own potential lovers. But when the former lady killer finally managed to eat just one chicken, it was cause for enormous celebration. Okay. Why would eating a chicken... Maybe because normally he goes for bigger things, but this time it was only a chicken? I don't know. Uh, restaurant charges thongage. A Darwin restaurant is charging patrons $10 to wear thongs while they, while they dine. The thongage charge is an... 
is announced announced in a sign on the door. So what? Why would they charge you ten dollars to wear flip flops thongs? This is this might be the weirdest one so far. Okay, dogs are four. Thousands of Territorians have taken up bizarre sex craze called dogging, using the ruse of walking their pooch as cover for going out and having sex with strangers in public. So dogging over here, I would assume it's the same, but dogging over here is when people drive in a car to like a woods or something, and when they like leave their lights on or something, or flash lights to people, and you just get weird blokes around watching from outside the car. That's dogging over here. Nothing to do with taking your dog. Or maybe it started out like that. I don't know. This uh, Surely this can't get any weirder. Surely it cannot get any, any more bizarre. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pretty stupid in pink. Bikini girl swims croc infested river. That doesn't look like a river, if I'm honest. Or not anymore. Tempting fate. The woman and her friend, in background took a swim at Shady Camp, which has one of the largest populations of saltwater crocodiles in the territory. She is an absolute lunatic. Absolute lunatic. And surely she must know there's crocodiles there. Surely she must realise. Oh, my God. You don't get this in our country. I'm sure you don't get this sort of news in our country. Oh, truck. We're stuck. <laughs> the, the lorry definitely tr thought it could fit down and it couldn't. Oh, man. If you're a lorry or truck driver, you must know the size of your cab. You must. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't tell you anything else. Police. No, sorry. Start that again. Polly. What a slacker. Are our elected members Australia's laziest? Are the Northern Territory politicians the laziest? I don't know. Let me know. You decide. And while you're there, like and subscribe. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Gone tropo. One, naked man flees after caught swimming in a posh hotel pool. I wonder if that is the act, like someone actually took a picture of him fleeing or that's just a recreation two 30 youths in wild street brawl before police chase three police called to 480 jobs as full moon closes in read about darwin's night of madness I just i just i just it's just mental absolutely mental well this is a different one Back in black today, the territory returns to open speed limits. I assume that means you can drive as fast as you like. For that, that's our national speed limit sign. So, for example, 70 on a motorway, miles per hour, uh, 60 on a single carriage, and then 40 if there's signs, 30 if it's in residential with streetlights. Uh, that would be the sign for that. So I don't know if that's what that means or it's just a free-for-all drive what you like. Almost like the Autobahn in Germany. Not that I don't think you can ever get to those speeds because of the traffic. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, to, to be fair, you, it should work fine if, you know, because there's not many vehicles on the road, right? You just wouldn't want to hit an animal because that would um, do more damage to you, I think. Let me know if you're from the Northern Territory. Explain this one. How are the speed limits in there? And um, if it is no real speed limits, how does it work? Is it a good thing? Driving Mr. Lazy. Oh, Christ. It's just a bloke in a sofa that's on top of a car. I don't really understand. Hamburger. Jilted lover jailed after breaking into ex's house, burning $8,000 of her clothes, then settling in to cook himself some hamburgers. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. How... The funny thing is, surely, actually, that hamburger story should be the main thing. But no, it's just a bloke sitting on a... 
laying on a sofa on top of a of, on top of a car. Well, that's today's episode. I, I just it's weird. It's just weird. I think everything just got weirder and weirder and weirder. And I think as the book goes on, as this book goes on, it must just get more and more insane. Honestly, the Northern Territory people are a world of their own. The Territorians in a world of their own, aren't they? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do me the honour of liking and subscribing. And I will catch you next time.